and Ryan have wasted no time trying to get on the same page with each other. How has that uh, communication and that timing process gone so far? Uh, you know, it's what I would say is our, our third day of throwing. So obviously there's things we, we need to work on. Uh, we've clicked uh, a lot more than we haven't. So that's good as well. You see a lot of technique work and stuff with, with you and, and Rob Moore. How do you like you know, some of the things you see working with Love Rob. I love the way he, he coach. I love the way he teach, not only on the field, but in the film room as well. He makes everything very um, understandable. Um, I've been around a lot of coaches. Last year, I was lucky to be with a, a great wide receiver coach in Sean Jefferson, and this year in Rob Moore as well. I know it's early, but how do you feel like the acclimation process is going as far as getting back to the flow of playing football again and kind of feeling like yourself? Um, I've been doing this for a long time, so I, I've never really had a problem of feeling like myself. It's football. It's what I do. It's my job. Excuse me. Uh, now with a second year receiver in Traylon, how have you been able to mentor him and kind of help shape his game going into uh, a very difficult year? I can't speak for, for T, but watching him out here, I can tell that he's taking his game to another level, uh, the way he practiced. Him on the ball, him uh, him demanding certain reps and certain routes. I uh, love that from a young guy, and I can tell that uh, you know him and I are gonna uh, you know play off each other very well. What's your take on the competition on the other side of the football guys you're competing with in the secondary? Going against some great guys, some good good DBs, good safeties. Uh, we're we're out there sharpening each other. Uh, as today, I feel like the the defense won today, uh, and that's that's what all season and training camp is for for us to make each other better. That ability that you have, or like the freedom to kind of freelance and route running sometimes, when did that develop and like how did that start to, to be something that you were just consistently able to do? In this offense, it's, uh, it's an offense where they trust us as receivers and the quarterback to be on the same page. Tim Kelly coached me while I was in Houston and uh, Vrabel was on the defensive side of the ball. so. Tim Kelly know that uh, I can go out and do certain routes that uh, he trusts me to execute. And so it's only our third day out there. Obviously, it's not, not where we wanted to be, but we're getting better at it. That first play of one-on-ones yesterday, uh, Fulton was, was on you pretty good. Brian threw a nice ball. You did kind of what you're famous for in terms of making a contested catch. How much do you pride yourself on, on coming down with the ball like that? And were you pleased that right out of the gate you, you, you had a chance to do that and did it? I've been doing that for, you know, since I've been at Clemson. So uh, obviously now you guys get to see it uh, firsthand. But uh, it's what I've been doing since I've been playing football. And, uh, you know, obviously Ryan trusts me to just put the ball up in the air and for, for me to come down with it. And hopefully we can keep doing that to, to build that rapport. How do the DBs react generally to when you make catches like that? What's the variety of things from them getting up, shaking their head? Or how often do they say, Man, I can't do much better than that. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, you make great catches. Sometimes they're going to make great plays on the ball uh, as part of the game. Uh, I'm not sure what goes through their head, uh, you know, to say, to answer that. But it's football. Well, we both get paid to do our job. They're going to make plays, and I'm going to make plays. What are your impressions? Uh, Malik is, is obviously, you know, still – you know, still um, improving as well, just like everybody out here. And that's why we're at training camp. Uh, you know, everybody's trying to, you know, get better every day. And that's what Malik is doing as well. Uh, same for Will. You know, this is uh, obviously this is the NFL and, you know, the transition from college to the NFL, uh, you know, as a quarterback and as a as an NFL player isn't easy. But I can I can tell that he's uh, he's putting in the work to to, you know, get better. I'm sure there's probably one much conversation for you to get 10 here, but how did, how did that all develop? Was there any conversation at all about Kiers wanting to do the weird, or how did that play out? Uh, no, there was no conversation about that that I, I know about. Is there any particular reason behind number 10? Is that just something you've worn since like high school or whatever? How, how did you come about wearing 10? Uh, well, you know, Messi was one of my favorite uh, athletes, uh, you know, just being a soccer fan. And I always felt like, you know, if I had a chance, I, you know, want to get some respect to Messi. And uh, there's some other reasons behind it as well. Did you get out to uh, Nacho 
I haven't. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you know, I'm a soccer fan. I heard Nashville has a pretty good team. I heard, um, I remember, you know, the attendance a couple years ago was, uh, you know, one of the, the most attended uh, soccer games. So I'm looking forward to being part of it as well. When you uh, run your routes on an individual period and stuff, you do something very unique I've never seen. You catch it and immediately kind of go into like a juke instead of just running. Is that like muscle memory? Is that intentional? How long have you been doing that and the purpose for that? Uh, it's muscle memory. And uh, obviously it's just, you know, thinking of a defender being on me. Uh, something I tell other receivers to do as well, not just catch it and run. Uh, but, you know, think about making a move as well when you catch it. That's good. Thank Thanks, Thanks DeAndre. Thank you, DeAndre. Thank you. Side of the ball, and how was it maybe today when, when even DeAndre said y'all won the day? Unbelievable, man. I, th I think that's that's the motto. Um, you know, we could do it one day. We had a lot of energy, you know, when we first came out here uh, Wednesday, Thursday, or whatever it may be. Then come out here today. It's like you know, how can we keep building on that each and every day, and not just let it be one day. And, um, each and every day, we want to come out here flying around, having fun. You know, when you're making plays, it's supposed to be fun. But, you know, it's also trying to keep that energy up even when Malik throw a 60-yard bomb. You know, can we come back and shake back from it and keep the energy up? So I think the energy, especially being on defense, you know, the guys up front, you know, because we set the table. The guys up front set the table. Arden, he going to be Arden. He going to fly around. He going to have fun with it. He loud. He bring the energy. I bring the energy. And it just translates to the back end. So, you know, that's what we need on our defense something every day that makes you laugh or makes you just go, man, that's crazy. Oh, man, that's the, I think that's the best part about Arnie. He's going to be himself, and I think that's what you want as a teammate. Um, you know, someone who come out, you know, when it's in time to hit the field, you know, he's going to have that energy. He's going to fly around. He's going to do something that make you laugh, like you said. Even in I saw I was in there getting stretched for a practice, and he jumped in a cold tub, and he jumped out here like, wake the fuck up. He told himself to wake up. It's just things like that where, you know, he just being himself, and that's what make him who he are and, you know, um, who he is, I should say. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm happy he with us. He brings a lot to our team. You know, he brings the energy. He brings um, his athleticism and his play style to our defense, and it's fitting right with us. So, like I say, I'm, I'm excited to see. Um, I mean, we're going through practice right now, but, you know, when it's really a time to put them uh, pads on, I'm excited to see what more he could do. Do practice sacks when you guys aren't in pads count the same? Do they mean the same? Yeah, it's mean the same. I, I, our goal is to affect the quarterback. In order for, I mean, we we taught to stay away from the quarterback in practice. If we beat our man and we veer off, we, we watch film. Uh, we see the same film, the offensive line, see, and they know it's a sack. So um, no matter if it's um, walk through, um, Jog through at full speed. Our job is to um, not be blocked, finish it down, unblocked. And, you know, we beat our man and we, get, we, we veer off to the quarterback. We know we had a sack in practice today. So, whatever it may be, um, you know, I mean, in order for to get sacks in the game, you have to work your moves at practice. So, yeah, I mean, it's all mean the same to me. Of course, in the game, it means more because it actually counts for stats and help your team win games. So, yeah. How have you guys done against the offensive line so far? I mean, we've been it's been back and forth. We're working together. Um, our goal is to not to try to beat up on the offensive line. Our goal, goal is to work together and get each other better. So, I mean, each day has been back and forth. They win reps, we win reps. And it's all about at the end of the day, you know, we better come come together as a team and get better as one. I know you always talk about how much pride you have in being top-notch against the run, but as a front, making the pass defense better, how much – that's something that you, you want to do? Um, it's big, man. We talked about it the other day. Um, I mean, each and every year since I've been here, we've been top in the run game. Like, first, last year, um, yard per game in last year, first. It's about now, it's like, how can we get to the quarterback and affect, affect the quarterback more? And we know, I mean, of course, like, teams going to try to run the ball, but we know this is a passing lead. And um, and the thing about it, you know, we, we had a, the sacks. I can't remember exactly how many we had last year, but uh, we had the sacks. But how many forced fumble we had? The quarterbacks fumble the ball the most on the out of anybody on the um, on the field. They have the ball 100% of the time of the snap. So I think that um, the goal is to affect the quarterback, get to the quarterback, but also get the ball off the quarterback because, like I said, they fumble the ball the most. You mentioned Arden Key, but how, how good is it to see kind of Weaver take that next step? You know, a lot of strength in the offseason today, obviously. Man, it's it's unbelievable. You know, I think that's the goal, um, not just for Weave. You know, for each one of our guys, to, each year you want to make an improvement. You want to, um, you want to know how to 
how you can help the team out. And um, we came back with a mindset. You know, we were talking this offseason how he want to be stronger, you know, make more plays. He want to be on the field more. And then, you know, he taking that approach. He coming here. Um, I think he got to stay away from the quarterback for Rave had a heart attack. But um, other than that, man, I, he making plays. He get he getting to the back um, quarterback. He got a pick today. And, you know, things like that change games. And um, right there, I'm sure, I mean, I know by making plays, that coaches, they see that. They, they That's bringing attention to him. So um, just props to him by coming back stronger, you know, ready to uh, work. So I'm excited to see what he could do for us this year. You mentioned the pads coming on next week. How much are you guys looking forward to that? Looking uh, forward that, to how it. How does that kind of change the tempo and the attitude of practice? I'm not going to lie. For us and in the interior guys, I mean, you're going to just hear more noise, but I mean, it don't change for us. We practice, I mean, that's why we practice with these things. Uh, you know, we, we talk to go fast, uh, we, you know, we protect each other, of course, but at the same time, um, the pass come on, it's just a little more physical, I guess, for, you know, certain guys. But when we out there practicing, um, doing them team reps, you know, we going, we trying to, we going full speed, I should say. Um, you know, we're not actually hitting each other um, at, like we'll be in pads, but um, I'm excited for pads. Um, I heard D-Hop say we ain't in pads yet. I've messed with him on the field, but, you know, things just get more competitive, I, 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 would, I would say. Um, since I've been playing the game of football, guys be happy to, uh, when the pads come on, but we know how the outcome be sometimes. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited uh, for Monday. Um, you know, we get a day off tomorrow, let the body recover and come back flying around Monday. You know, about, about every day in camp. I mean, what's, what's it take to hydrate you? How many waters? How many? Games hey man, I, I, just, I drink so much water. Each day I've been weighing in ex or over my weight because of I take um, everything so serious. Like coming out here, you know, don't wait. I don't wait till the morning of. I like do IVs in the um, even time when I get home or go to the IV spot. I drink hella water. Um, I try to at least get a gallon in right before I go to bed. Um, not including all the water I'm drinking out here. Um, so yeah, I drink a lot of water. I drink um, the liquid IVs things. Like I, I just drink a lot to try to get my body ready for practice because, I mean, we know how the injury rate is. If you're not hydrated, especially out here, you know, you can easily pull some or whatever it may be. So I take care of my hydration pretty. When you weigh in after practice, what's the most you've ever? I don't lost? lose. I don't lose because I always gain. Because I'm, you can, if you see me, I'm always got some type of water jug in my mouth. Like I'm in my hand, like drinking water. Because I, like I said, I'm, I'm taking a lot of reps. I'm, or if I'm not taking a lot of reps, you know, I know. That's just sitting in the hot sun, you, it could drain you. So, um, yeah, since I've been here, especially this year, I have always came out practice heavier than I went in. So, the way the last year ended and some of the moves they were forced to make it under the cap in the offseason, were you ever concerned that maybe this team was going to go through a rebuild? And, and how happy are you that it looks like they're trying to keep the window open? I never thought about a rebuild. I like to win. I mean, I don't never approach the game of, all right. We may lose this game because we ain't got such and such. I, I approach the game like I want to win. Like I, I mean, I told the media that when I, I think it was OTAs or whatever it may have been early on, like I, I want to win. Um, I, I know Vrabe don't want to win, so I'm, I'm sure it's not never crossed their mind. I think that just was the, the outsiders' um, look on our team, or they want to, they trying to rebuild. It's a rebuild for the Titans. Our goal in this, um, in this building, take day by day. Uh, we're gonna take it game by game whenever they get here, but. Right now, we we want to build this team. Now we, like you said, we um, are looking at our team. Now we we made a a lot of transition. Um, you know, we picked up some uh, a lot of great guys. Um, I'm sure, like with the D Hop um, pick up, Arden pick up. You know, them guys are gonna help us win again. I'm excited about it. And Jeff, you also got Harold Landry back. How much does that nice to have him on the field once again? I'm excited, man. <laughs> I was messing with him the other day. I said. Them tackles ain't gonna be able to just sit in on me this time, like, cause you know we get the tackles just want to drag, drag because, like guys like Harry, you know, them tackles scared of his speed. They scared of, they never know what may happen with him. You know, he could go to power wherever it may be, but you know, just his presence, even on the uh, practice field, we communicating, walk through, we communicating. I'm, I'm happy to have him back. I'm happy he's feeling back to his um, self. And man, it's, like I said, the more guys we can get on off on the field, um, healthy. And, you know, I, I'm sure, especially on the defense side up front, because that's where I start at, you know, it's going to help us win games. Do you have any last one about how you guys help each other out, get better on the offensive side and the defensive side of the ball? How crucial is it for what you guys are doing up front to make the guys on the front five, the offense, better, given that they're all new and trying to figure it out amongst them? I mean, that's the goal. Um, each and every day, you know, I talk, I probably talk, me and Arden, I was about to say I talk the most, but I think Arden here now. So um, we talk so much, but at the end of the day, when we walk out the field, it's a brotherhood. Um, you know, when we out here, we're going to compete. 
Um, them guys know it. Um, Brewer, you know, um, Peter, all them guys, they, they know that we're going to talk smack, but we're going to compete. But when you come out the field, it's a brotherhood, and, and they know that. So when we're on the field, we're going to compete. We're going to um, get after them. They're going to get after us. We may have a bad play. They may have a bad play. But at the end of the day, you know, our job is to come together as one, and they know it, you know, without – the trenches in this league, you don't have nothing. And we saw, and we talked about it together. We we saw last year when we not we don't have a good pocket, you know things don't good things not happen. We're not rushing the passers, you know good things don't happen. So um, so yeah, man. Each and every day, our job is to compete, but also know we're trying to um all get to one ultimate goal. Thanks. Yep. Their big rival is lies. Suggest that for uh, Love it. kids' name. Love it. Mike, with the offseason that uh, DeAndre Hopkins had, uh, do you, you know, during this ramp-up period, uh, how what, close? What, what, what kind of offseason did he have, Teresa? I don't know. It wasn't on our team. Well, that's the thing. Do you monitor to, to see the condition that he's in, the physical shape? and We do and that for all our players. Is he on, uh, as you ramp up the rest of the team, is he maybe, is he, do you like the pace that he's at? Yeah, I like how he's come in and started to work. And, you know, we'll see where he's at. We don't practice tomorrow, so. Our recovery will be uh, critical, and we'll see where guys are at then. We'll have a plan for everybody on Monday. How did you like what you saw from the defense today? I know even DeAndre said that maybe they won today. I know. I mean, one today. That's I love those. You know, I mean, I can't wait to see all the the highlights. It's some good, some bad. You know, offense makes play, defense obviously didn't. So that, that's how this goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like the energy. I think the conditioning is there. I see guys, you know. Turning and going to the stack, and, and, and really we got to start focusing on fundamentals. And you know, yeah, we're, we're we're out there. There's only one team for us to game plan against right now and compete against. But you know, we're also competing against everybody in this league of, of trying to improve and and get in condition and focus on fundamentals and the details, the things that are important in training camp. With, uh, it looked like Chris had a pretty solid to get, uh, day today. What, what do you think about what he was able to put on? Again, just trying to stay consistent and you know. Be, be, be good in the multiple coverages that we're asking him to play. And, you know, again, just his physical to me, he just, you know, and again, there were times last year early on just from his, his rehab and, and things that he was going through. He just looks physically, he looks better. Physically, he looks, I saw him this morning at breakfast. I said, you, you know, we at your weight, you know, we're monitoring that. And those are things, you know, we have guys that have different problems than, than the head coach. They have trouble, you know, keeping weight on. And so, you know, we monitor that and, and making sure that after these hot days that they're eating and Lauren and Frank and Todd are on top of that. So, you know, that's part of, you know, I think Christian just his overall strength and his size that he can be 195 pounds and still be, you know, athletic and still be able to to, to run and, and, and transition. So, you know, so far so good. How do you mentioned play? earlier in the week that you liked the approach that Malik has brought coming into camp and the spring and things like that was uh, today's play where the NFC throws the interception and bounces back with a nice play after that. Is mm -hmm. that kind of embodied what you're talking about? I think so. You know what I mean? And just understanding, like, that's a new look. Every week, every day the defense is going to put some new things in. Offensively, we're going to have to see it, adjust to it, come back the next period or whatever that may be. Um, and, you know, they made a play. We've made a great play. And then, you know, um, you know, Malik came back and, and got everybody in the huddle, settled down, and you know went on to the next situation, which was the third down, and and hit a big play. How do you weigh pass rush success or pass block success before you're in pads? Um, I mean, I think you can kind of try to see, you know, technique and you know whether guys are getting overextended or, you know, what the you know width of the pocket may look like, and you know those are things that we're continuing to improve on, and then. You know, once pads are in, it's just trying to make sure that the interior is building a depth and, and sitting there so that the quarterbacks, and I'm, you hear me yelling to the quarterbacks too, step up, step up in a pocket. If we got a pocket, you know, we have to be able to use it. You know, you see these edge rushers in this league, it's hard. You know, if you overset them, you know, they take a step inside and then the play's blown up. So, you know, we have to protect inside out. We, we got to be able to run them by, and in order to, to run them by, you got to be able to step up, and then you have to have a pocket to step up into. Line respond maybe to what seemed like a tough day yesterday, particularly against. Well, Oregon. I thought they, you know, I mean, I thought they took the coaching. I thought they improved. I thought there were some good one-on-one -on -one reps from what I saw, just briefly there on tape. Uh, and, and then at times, you know, again, we'll just keep working and you know keep trying to string days together. How does it impact uh, practice or even the culture when you 
bring a high energy and fun personality guy like Arden Key into the mix? I mean, everybody's got a different personality, you know, and I like that, you know, that guys have energy and it can still, you know, talk and do their job. And, and you know, that's the most important thing is, is production and, and making sure that you're handling your responsibility. And if along the way you got a personality and you got some energy, I'm all for it. But, you know, making sure that that doesn't get in the way of our ultimate job. So, you know, him and I have had, I've enjoyed coaching him since the day he got here. He's put a lot of work in and, you know, he's excited for the opportunity and, and, and we're excited to have him. Well, again, we've said this um, multiple times is just Arden's ability to, to have different rushes and have you know, different things that he does and not just you know, have one or two moves. So I think it can only help, and, and that's why we practice. That's why we try to compete uh, is to, to make each other better and take care of each other. That's the most important thing is that you know, we're staying away from the quarterback, uh, we're staying off the ground, all those things. We're not taking cheap shots at guys. That's, that's when I don't have a problem. Well, we didn't want to overload him at times. He'd handled it well last year when we asked him to do it. Um, you know, so I think just, you know, his, his versatility and, and his knowledge, I think he can go back and forth and we'll get him some reps outside here and move some other guys inside. But, you know, I think it's been good. I think, um, and, and he'll factor in there. He was, you know, when you get into those first and second down substituted defenses and that nickel is a linebacker and the way that Roger tackled last year when he had to support as a corner I think that's kind of what excites us a little bit you know and plus having the ability to, to you know cover and have some experience out there covering you know hopefully tra uh, translates well very very professionally and you know Chris is a guy you, you always you know again haven't been doing this so long, but you always kind of look at guys on other teams or you coach against them, watch them, and, you know, would have loved to have them a few years ago. I'm glad that we got them now, but, I mean, it's professional, uh, knows a bunch of spots. He's always over there on special teams. He runs, doesn't appear to get tired, uh, jumps in there every opportunity, and just a real professional and somebody that I've enjoyed uh, coaching and, and having around here. Need to stress that more next week when the pads come on because guys tend to want to just fly around and hit. Maybe I mean I think that just we'll see how that goes. I think we practice pretty fast. Uh, I think there's a good speed to how we practice without pads, and so you know I think maybe when you get tired, I think when you get tired, um, that's when you have to focus uh, on, on your technique, your fundamentals, uh, and, and those those little details, and not letting them slide because you get tired. Evaluate when these one-on-one -on -one drills with the DBs and receivers out here. How do you evaluate that? What's the Well, I mean, I think obviously trying to be as tight a coverage as you can. You know, we play some off, we play some press, and um, you know, the route craft. Are we able to to, to you know set up routes and and be able to stem and, and and make sure that there's you know good releases versus press and. You know, then contested throws, contested catches. Um, you know, like to stay up, but also making sure guys aren't grabbing. You know, when guys are breaking. Sometimes, you know, you tell the guy, hey, play outside leverage. You know, they run an inward breaking route, with a, which would be a linebacker in there, and everybody's hooting and hollering. It's like, probably not going to throw it, but great. So, um, I think it's just a, a good way to get a lot of reps in, in a short amount of time that we wouldn't get probably in seven on seven.